Uh, Cyclonere, thank you for a $5 super chat. Are there different versions of T-mount props? Just got some that M2 mounting holes are too wide to line up with 2004 motors. Yup. Yup. There are. Because iFlight's got to be a weirdo. Because iFlight's got to be a weirdo. iFlight has a new motor. What is it? The 1806? I think it's the 1806. I don't know. Is this it? I think this is it. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, we covered it in the news. I can't remember. Siati, what motor is this? 507RC. I know you can stream to OB Facebook and YouTube at the same time, but the point is that your computer has to do all the, the mucks, the encoding. And some people may not have a computer that can do that. Um, what motor is this, Siati? Please remind me. I know you know. It was me and Blunty who were bitching about it. Uh, I can't find it. Um, iFlight has a new 6mm T-mount dimension. And there's like one iFlight prop that fits it. I don't know what prop it is. So yeah, if you bought an iFlight prop and... Uh, it didn't fit your standard mounting holes, your team out mounting holes. That's why. It is the 1806. I did remember correctly. Why did there... So here's the Zing 2 1806. And they mention they have a unique 6x6 propeller mount spacing that works specifically with this one prop. This is the only prop in the world that works with this proprietary six millimeter. They call it unique, a unique, in other words, proprietary. So if you accidentally bought this prop, it only works with this, these two motors. Why I Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm sure they, the thing is I flight is not. Here's the thing that, that bugs me about this. iFlight's not dumb. They're not. And they don't have a history like um, like Emacs. Emacs has proprietary mounting pattern for their motor bolts. Why? Newbie Drone has a proprietary plug for their, for their Tiny Whoop motors. Why? In these cases, I'm unconvinced that there's like a performance or a technical reason to do these things. It just seems like they did them because they could. I don't know. But iFlight does not have a history of doing that at all. Like, I can't think of a time when iFlight has made some dumb proprietary decision just to make your life harder. And iFlight is like, so if they, if they, why would iFlight want this motor to only be compatible with these props? Is, do they have some technical justification for it? I sure don't know. Like, I'm so tempted to give them the benefit of the doubt because they don't have a history of doing this BS. But man, it's so annoying. It's so annoying that you've got this prop out there that people, and I know they've got a, they've got a warning, but people are going to buy this prop by accident and it's not going to fit on any other team out motor. And if people did buy this motor, and by the way, I don't, I don't think you should buy this motor. This is a, it's probably a great motor. Okay. But if I can only run this prop on this motor, get out of here, get it. Just go, just leave. Sorry, not doing it. Not doing it. We'll just buy, just buy spares. Just no, not doing it. Sorry, iFlight. You killed it. 